this whole week I'm on stand down and I'm going to cook my favourite meal of all time. Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I thought I would start to film a weekly vlog because this whole week I'm on stand down which I will perhaps go into a bit later in this video. Basically what that means is that I have leave without pay for this whole week. If you're new here I'm a flight attendant. The aviation industry has been majorly affected because of this whole pandemic and although it's like October 2021 Australia is still struggling with the pandemic and I am out of work this week and I'm in lockdown so <laughs> That's fun. I can't even like go on a holiday or anything. I can't even drive 15 kilometers from my house because of the lockdown. Throughout the week, I'll be sharing with you how the aviation industry has been affected because of the pandemic. It's been like pretty crazy. I was out of work for eight months. My airline almost collapsed and all this crazy stuff ha has happened. So I want to do this video not only to provide you guys a bit of information, but also as a little keepsake for me as well, because I'm sure in a couple of years, I'll look back at this time and think what the heck and I'd love to be able to remember it all so usually in lockdown and on my days off I don't usually look this done up but I have just filmed a little video um like a sit down video that I'll be posting on my YouTube channel. It is the last video of my series of how to become a flight attendant. I do five videos and each video I go through each different stage of the application process. So if you're interested in becoming a flight attendant, definitely go check out those videos. I've got to pack all this stuff up now. So let's do that. Most people eat popcorn while they're watching a movie, but we eat popcorn when we're making the movies. <laughs> we are both just editing now. <laughs> Braden is actually working from home. So he has been working from home basically the whole of lockdown. And I'm just gonna start editing the YouTube video. P.S. This is our makeshift office. Well, this is Bree's room that I've commandeered. And so <laughs> we kind of like everything on this one desk at the moment until I set up my office space next door. Um, the other room next door, so. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so this Just is, FYI. Yeah, so it's gonna be my office. Um, I'm gonna be using the desk and the drawers, but I'm waiting on a chair to be delivered. And also, I'm not sure about like how to decorate an office. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments. It's gonna be sad having separate offices. <laughs> Brayden can't wait. <laughs> just went on a little run to be honest this is the first time i've exercised in like three weeks because we moved house and the half marathon that i was training for got postponed so i kind of lost a bit of motivation i love um listening to podcasts and things like that on my runs and also on my walk my favorite podcasts are she's on the money and shameless i do need some new podcasts so if you have some faves let me know in the comments i would love to hear your suggestions but those are my suggestions shameless talks about like pop culture and things like that and she's on the money talks about and helps you to become more financially literate which i really enjoyed that type of content i have like a huge passion for finances and things like that and i think it's really important to always develop your knowledge on that topic hey guys and welcome to the next day it's tuesday now and this morning was pretty chill morning we just went to bunnings and picked up a drill and also some accessories for the drill and we also got a stud finder because now that we're in our own home, we want to do a lot of DIY things to the house. We can actually like put some photos up and things like that. So we're going to be wanting to drill into some walls, which is exciting. And we also got the stud finder because we are wanting to mount our TV and TV unit, which I'll show you right now what it looks like. So this is where our TV unit is at the moment. And we are hoping to mount them both 
on the wall. Brayden is going to be in charge of all of that and yeah he's never really done much drilling so I'm a bit nervous for him to do it to be honest but <laughs> you've got to learn somehow hey. So last night we set up Brayden's office. It's not fully done yet but this is kind of where we're at with it. I think it's looking really good. We haven't used this PC in a couple of months um, at our old place. We stopped using it because Adobe, the editing software that we use, stopped working. So I don't know why so I'm going to test it now and if it works that would like literally save my life because I'm currently editing on a little laptop and it's really difficult to see all the tabs and everything so fingers crossed that it works. You have got to be headering these things or else So that is really good news. The computer is actually working completely fine. Previously, when you would edit, the timeline would get really choppy. And if you know much about editing and stuff, we would even use proxies and stuff and it would still be really choppy. But now trying it on this project, which I'm editing in 4K um, and I'm not using proxies and it's working fine. So that's great. <laughs> So I'm going to go for a run and of course I'm going to take you guys with me, so let's get going. breakfast slash lunch because it's actually 1 p.m. <laughs> I want to share with you guys a bit about what 2020 was like for anyone in the aviation industry in Australia because I started this YouTube channel at the end of 2020 so I didn't really get to document my experience throughout that whole year and I just want to share quickly with you guys what it was like. Mm. This is like my favorite way of having avocado on toast is with goat's cheese. Let's go back to December 2019. That's when everything was going down in Wuhan and I think people in Australia were just like oh it's just a cold, nothing to be aware of. And then in March 2020 I was on a four-day trip. There was like this sense in the aviation industry that like something was gonna happen because airlines were cancelling flights here and there and the four-day trip that I was on got changed so many times and I remember going to Sydney airport I think I was on the 25th of March 2020 and looking at the flight boards and literally every single flight had cancelled on it and it was like so shocking we were meant to do a couple flights that day but those flights got cancelled so we were all put on airport in sydney for five hours and then we were going to pax home so fly as a passenger and during that standby at the airport i would never forget this moment um we were sitting at a gate and you know at the aircraft gates there's like tv screens and usually they're showing the news and stuff well this news headline came on and basically breaking news at that time was that the company that I was working for was going to have to fire around 3,000 staff. So we had no idea what was going to happen. We packed home that night, signed off and basically looked at our rosters and basically for the whole month our rosters were wiped and we didn't have any work for the rest of the month. Things happened just like that. Like we literally were flying and then nothing. That was March and then I didn't go back flying until December. Mm, the story gets crazier because some other things happen. The airline that I worked for financially wasn't doing well. This is all public knowledge. I'm not obviously talking on behalf of my airline or sharing things that aren't already publicly known. So basically the airline wasn't doing well financially and it basically went into administration. Basically what that means is the company's up for sale, but if no one buy it, then it will basically be liquidated and the company would be no more. So going through that experience, it was a really 
stressful and anxious time for me and it also was for a lot of my colleagues because it was really up in the air of like what was going to happen do we have to find other jobs and things like that we were really lucky that the government had job keeper which a lot of people in australia took advantage of very thankful for the government for basically funding my whole 2020 <laughs> so just before the company got bought by its current owners they offered voluntary redundancies and a lot of people took this i personally didn't feel like it was the right time for me although i had another job at the time i just felt like i didn't want to say goodbye to this job just yet so i didn't take the redundancy and i got called back to work in december since december 2020 i had basically a full-time roster but it's only been the last month where i've actually been stood down last month i got stood down for two days and this month i got stood down for a week apparently international borders are opening up next month so i'm kind of hoping that i won't be stood down anymore but if you're in the aviation industry and you've been affected I just want to like let you know that I feel ya and it's been a tough ride but there is light at the end of the tunnel and hopefully things will be back to normal very soon. The last time I flew was a month ago and that was just one day and then prior to that time I hadn't flown for two months before then so if that gives you a bit of an idea of what my flying schedule has been like it's literally been non-existent i've either been working at my office job or i've been on standby from home so yeah hopefully next month we get to do a bit more flying because <laughs> i do really miss it and i really miss making the vlogs for you guys because it's literally so fun for me and i really enjoy it. it's like a fun little project but yeah i hope you like my little spiel of what's kind of has happened with the aviation industry anyways i'm going to finish off my food and i'll chat to you guys in a little bit so although the last two years have been pretty traumatic and I'm back in stand down now, it has been really good since we have just moved house. So I've had a lot of time to be home and a lot of time to be able to get the house organized. So that's a positive that we can get out of it. I'm gonna do a few house things today. I have this box that I wanna put into the TV cabinets. So in this box, we have a lot of craft things and we also have a lot of games. I mostly just wanna put all the games in the cupboards. That's something I drew. <laughs> Lol. We don't own many games, but I'll show you what we've got. So we've got the classic chess and checkers, which when you and I, Braden's never won a game of chess against me. It must be good or something, I don't know. <laughs> IQ test, Monopoly deal. Have you guys ever played this game? Once you start playing, you get freaking addicted. Classic Uno, Sushi Go. This is like my favorite game ever. It's so good. If you've never played it before, pick yourself up this game. It's ultimate movie quiz. Name the emoji. This is freaking hilarious. If you're into memes and stuff like that, this is so funny. I'll show you what you do. Basically, there's like emojis like this, for instance. And then the other people have to guess what this means. On the other side, it tells you what it means. So it means Arctic mon monkeys. There's this one. And it means like Lion King. So yeah, it's just a funny game. And like when you're playing it with people, people come up with the most hilarious things that they think it means. So there are games. down to end so we can have people over and play board games with friends and stuff Hello guys, so it is a little bit later. I've just been doing editing all day today, but I'm gonna make a little hot chocolate. And recently I found this new hot chocolate at the supermarket that I'm obsessed with. And it's this one, it's the Cow Coconut Latte. And it's freaking delicious. It's made with the natural and plant-based ingredients, which is really good. my kitchen what is a lockdown vlog without lots of food content <laughs> because that's basically all I've been doing in lockdown is cooking eating baking watching tv shows you know you know how it is anyway so i'm gonna cook dinner tonight and i'm gonna cook my favorite meal of all time which is like a pesto zucchini noodle with chicken and yeah anyways it's flipping delicious um would rec definitely recommend this recipe I will show you all the ingredients that I use to make it. So these are literally all the ingredients. So we've got zucchinis for the zucchini noodles, obviously. We've got some tomatoes and then we've got some basil, some nuts and lemon for the pesto with some olive oil and then chicken breast. And I always like to put like some goat's cheese or some feta or something on top as a little garnish. But what I love about this meal is it's pretty 
minimal ingredients, which makes it really easy. Um, and it's got really fresh and kind of natural ingredients as well. Plus it tastes freaking delicious. So yeah, let's get cooking. A seed. No. finished product it doesn't look like much but trust me it's freaking delicious and we are going to watch bachelor in paradise the usa version if you're like a bachelor or bachelorette fan i would definitely recommend bachelor in paradise usa it's like so drama filled and like everyone makes out with everyone and like it's yeah drama on every episode we definitely recommend that if you're in lockdown like me and want something to watch Hello guys, it is the next day, it's Thursday today, and I just got off a Zoom call with flight attendant Jojo, which was really fun. Um, she's such a fun girl. And we did a little video on the differences between the Australian Airlines and also the US Airlines. So yeah, that video is gonna be coming out shortly. If it is out already before I post this video, I will put it in the description for you guys. Sorry, I haven't vlogged much today. <laughs> <Ms. Sorry. Braden. laughs> Today's been a pretty chill day, just been doing some editing and uploading some videos and, and ate lots of food and things like that. Um, Bray and I are just about to go get some pizza for dinner. So I'll take you guys along with us. It is currently 8 p.m., bit of a late dinner, but we have to rush to the visa shop because there's a curfew and we have to be home by nine. So we are literally just rushing out the door just to you know, get some pizza, get some dinner and we'll be back home soon. We just got home and we are just about to eat pizza now, but tonight we're gonna to do some budget in. We like to do budgeting like a couple times a year just to know what our expenses are and kind of get us on top of all the things and now that we have a mortgage <laughs> it's like yeah a bit more important. Yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. I hope you enjoyed my vlog in lockdown slash stand down and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. One, two, two three. So die, you okay? You got it? A sharp, a sharp bit? Yeah. Oh. I could feel it like scratching down my throat. Yeah. Thank you. Smug.